Hey, <laughs> what's up guys? And welcome back to more Assassin's Creed 2. Where I left off, we were about to... to go and help Ezio's uncle. Right now, shit, why did I go out? See? I'm an idiot. I wanted to go out of the Animus. Can I do that? I think so. I can't, can I? Okay, let's go. Oh, let me set a goddamn timer, I forgot. You just set a timer so I know how long I've recorded. Okay, set it for 50 minutes. Alright. I'm gonna get a the horse. Tuscany. All right. What are you doing here? Taking responsibility. Vieri troubles you because of me. <laughs> Vieri troubles us because he's a Templar, and we are assassins. Either way, I wish to help. Va bene. Then listen close. First, we must find a way inside the city, though it seems Vieri expects us. He has sealed the gates and sent his men to guard them. Fortunately for us, the city is larger than his host. The southern gate suffers for it, so this is where we'll strike, Pronti? Okay, help Mario and his men assassinate Vieri de Pansi. Finally, that bitch dies. Alright Ezio, here's how it is going to work. My men and I will distract the guards. Once we have engaged them, get yourself over the wall and find a way to open the gate. Take these throwing knives. Use them to dispatch the archers. I'm ready when you are. Then let us begin. Alright. How do I get my throwing knives? Right. Oh shit, okay. Killing my own people. Okay. Where are you going? Where the hell are they going? Okay. 
Okay, come back. Well done, Ezio. Yeah. Oh. This way, man. <laughs> yes, we are in. That's what he said. I want you to distract those guards and keep them from raising the alarm. Hopefully, it will buy me enough time to find and silence Vieri. Va bene. Wait, nipote. Take a few of my men with you, just to be safe. Come join me once they're dealt with. What's Vieri up to now? No one knows. But something has him on edge. How else? God damn. I thought I had my hidden blade out again. Ezio, your uncle's under attack and needs help. Go to him. Where? This way. There he is. Ah, Nipote. The there you are. It seems my plan is to come to the snack. Here is men ambush. Now we got our hands full. My brothers and I will deal with these guys. I want you to go on ahead and root up that snake. See that justice is served. Well, let's go and kill Vieira then by ourselves. I'm gonna find the chest. There he is. God damn it. Can't even pick a chest in peace. What? He disappeared. Great. God damn it, come on. I'll just die. Oh good, come, come help me. There we go. There we go. There we go. Might as well take the thing that's in here. I don't wanna find them again. It's just a codex page. Well, yeah, just a codex page, but still. And I see a feather. Get that later. It's settled. Vieri, you will remain here to coordinate the mercenary. Francesco will organize our forces in the city and send word when it's time to strike. Jacopo. Your job is to calm the citizens once the deed is done. What of that Ubriacone Mario? He continues to harass my forces, and I fear he'll discover what we intend. He's always been trouble. 
Just like that bastardo brother of his. Then let me reunite them, father. There will be plenty of time to clean up the refute when we've finished. Now, is there anything else? Muy bien. May the father of understanding guide you. May, May the, the father, father of, of understanding, understanding guide you. Comandante! Comandante! What? Mario Auditore has invaded the city. He comes for you. <laughs> then let's not keep him waiting. All right, let's kill that freaking kid. What are you and your allies planning? Is this what my father discovered? Is this why he was killed? I'm sorry. Were you hoping for a confession? Pezzo di merda! Vorrei solo che avesse sofferto di più! Hai avuto la fine che meritavi! Spero che bru... Enough, Ezio! Show some respect. Respect? After all that's happened... Do you think he would have shown either of us such kindness? You are not Fieri. Do not become him. Che la morte ti dia le pace che cercavi. Requiesca in pace. Take this. Read it when you have the time. Our work here is finished. Let us return to the villa. Mm-hmm. Got the knife belt. All right, we finished that. What's next? Where's that letter? My love, I put these thoughts to paper in the hope that I might one day have the courage to share them with you. In time, you'll no doubt learn that I betrayed Giovanni, labeled him a traitor, and sentenced him to die. History will likely judge this to have been a matter of politics and... I already killed him. Come on. Know that it was not hate that forced my hand, but fear. When the Medici robbed us of all we owned, I found myself afraid. For you, for our son, for the future. What hope in this world for a man without proper means? They offered me money land and title in exchange for my collaboration and so this is how i came to betray my closest friend however unspeakable the act it seemed necessary at the time and even now looking back i see no other way mr francesco i have done as requested and spoken with your son 
I agree with your assessment, though only in part. Yes, Pieri is brash and prone to act without forethought. And he has a habit of treating the mercenary like playthings. I have received reports of at least three men being disfigured as a result. But I do not think him, as you put it, beyond repair. Rather, I believe the solution to be a simple matter. He seeks your approval, uh, yeah. your attention. These outbursts of his are a result of insecurities born out of a sense of inadequacy. He speaks of you often and fondly and expresses a desire to be closer to you. So, if he is loud and foul and angry, I believe it is simply because he wants to be noticed. Or he's simply an asshole, there's that, that as well. Act as you see fit on the information I've given you here. But I must ask that we end this correspondence. Were it to discover the nature of our conversations, I fear what might become of me. Yours in confidence, Fra Giocondo. Okay. How was that? That should feel better soon. Alright, I guess we can buy these. Um, I won't have enough gold, but still. Oh, whoa. Oh. Okay. This one. Right. <coughs> You'll be well satisfied, I know it. Oh, over there. And here he is, our campione Ezio. Oh, oh hey, hey, Ezio. Ezio. I see you've wasted no time starting the celebration. And why not? You've done us a great service, Nipote. With Vieri dead, La Toscana will grow quiet once more. Do you know what that means? Basta lavorare. Si passa tutto il giorno a bere. E a puttane. What? It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Come, Ezio. Walk with me. Yes, uncle. Learn about the bill and discover the codex pages hidden there. Well, I already discovered those by myself. To another, a <coughs> Spaniard. He is Rodrigo Borgia, one of the most powerful men in all of Europe, and leader of the Templar Order. Which makes him responsible for the murder of my father and brothers. Yes, and he will kill you too, given the chance. Then I must stand against him if I wish to be free. But not until every other Templar has fallen to my blade. Father's list will guide me. Where will you go next? Firenze. Francesco de Pazzi will share the fate of his son. A sensible next step. No doubt he intends evil for the city. All right. That's enough grim talk for one night. I'll be in my study if you need me. I shall read the letter my uncle gave me. I did already. Come on. Mr. Francesco. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got it. I we got it. We get it. <coughs> Look familiar? All the codex pages. Yes. Your father managed to find and translate a few before he... Here. 
This is not your father's work. Someone else has translated it. Leonardo da Vinci, a friend. Do you see the way the words cross from one page to the next? There is something underneath it all. Some kind of map. Where is it supposed to lead? Your father and I managed to make out bits of a prophecy scrawled across these pages. It was written by an assassin like us, who long ago held a piece of Eden. His name was Altair. He spoke of something powerful and ancient hidden beneath the land. What is it? What indeed? Solving that little mystery is exactly why we collected these pages. Then let me help. It's time I take on my father's work. All of it. I start with the page I took from Bieri. Leonardo will decode it for us. Ben, return here when time permits, and we'll add it to the wall. Yep. <clears throat> we saw how to you writing those codex pages in Bloodlines as well. Reach the Villa's viewpoint. Why do I need to do that? It's a waste of time. Come on. Collect the four philosophical codex pages. Oh, that's why I had to. Okay. Wait, so that is just here and no one, nobody has found it? Okay. We got them all. Now what? I think we have to go back to Leonardo and get him to translate everything. Oh, what? There's one more? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that one. Okay. Alright, now we're done. Go check on Claudia.
And I guess that was ma that was uh, sequence three, right? There's uh, what twelve sequences, maybe. Salute, Claudia. Our uncle is un monstro. This is outrageous. What's happened? He's making me work. <laughs> if father was here, I'd never be stuck behind a desk like this. And what are the terms of this supposed enslavement? Since someone decided we're going to stay here, Tio Mario suggested we try and find the money to repair the villa. Problem is, there isn't any. I bet I can bring in some money. Oh, great. More work for me. Well, benissimo. If you start paying for improvements to the town, I'll keep track of them in this book. And since I have nothing better to do, I'll also make note of any objects you bring in from the outside. If you actually get this place up and running, travelers might visit and spend money. Although I doubt anyone will want to come this far out of the city. But if they do, I'll keep the money we make in this chest. You're going to have to show up to take it to the bank yourself. Because when it gets full, I'm just going to take the extra cash for myself. Capito? Dio. Mm -hmm. Alright, this is the... Uh, we also need to get these. You know, renovate shops and collect stuff and... And do other stuff like that as well. And this is how we make money too. The more we renovate, the more money we get. After every 20 minutes, I think. The money's gonna come up here. One John. There's something wrong. Sir Mario hired me to deal with this mess, but I'm an architetto, not a miracle worker. Without money, I can't fix any of these buildings. And if someone brought you money? Eh, then we'd be in business. Uh, you must be Sir Ezio. Am I right? Uncle, I like this architetto. He gets very observant when he can smell money. If you want to fix up this town, I'm going to need it. I have a price list here for new shops and renovations. Just bring me gold, make a choice, and I'll begin at once. If I build you a shop, you, as the landlord, can purchase goods there at lower rates. If you invest more money in the shop, you get an even greater discount. As for renovations, well, you'll be bringing the town and villa back to life. As Sir Mario tells me, that was very important to your great-great-grandfather. Plus, when you buy shops and renovations, you'll be increasing the number of people who visit, causing your income to increase. So, let's take a look, shall we? Okay. Okay, I, I guess I should buy a bank, maybe. Because why not? And that's all I can buy. Nope, I can buy... Well, let me check these. Yeah, an art merchant. Alright. Well, I renovate them, I don't buy them. Anyway. Bye. So yeah, basically we get 2,250 gold every 20 minutes, I think. Ezio, my boy, I think it's time I showed you something.
This is the sanctuary. It was built by my great-grandfather to honor the memory of the Assassin Order and protect its secrets. Look around. These are the Assassins who guarded the freedom of humanity when it was most threatened. And this is the armor of Altair. Little is known about Altair's life, but his armor is light and very strong. I'd give it to you, but I don't know how to retrieve it. My great-grandfather told me it would remain locked away until all its protectors were made whole. I heard rumors of crypts located throughout Italia, hidden tombs filled with treasure where these six were moved centuries ago. Maybe they have something to do with it. In my younger days, I sought the six myself, with no success. Perhaps you will have better luck. A lot better, yeah. So yeah, we In collect... In order to achieve perfect synchronization with Ezio, you have to get that armor. So yeah, there's gonna be six places we have to go to and find six six of these like uh you know plates thingies put them there and we get the armor so yeah So we're going back to Florence, yep. Yeah. We can use this fast travel place. Uh well let's go here. Leonardo's workshop. Fourteen seventy-eight, Repubblica Florentina. Ezio, you are still alive. Look at this place. The past two years have been kind to you. But you are not the same at all, are you? I was hoping you might be able to help me with something. Anything for you, my friend. Ha ha! You found another one! How exciting! Hmm. This one is tricky to break. Clever in its use of ancient languages. Maybe if I just... Oh! Oh! It seems to be a manual of sorts for different assassination techniques. May I see it? Wait, what's that? It's not so much a design this time, just a series of sketches. Hmm, what to make of all this? <laughs> of course, and why not? What an inspired idea. Can you make it for me while I try what's in that manual fragment? Take it. I'll have my assistant set up some dummies for you to practice with. Hey, Vincenzo! Practice saver and new assassination techniques while Leonardo tinkers with the codex pages. Okay. I kind of failed. Wait. I meant to... Yeah.
I've done it. Come quickly. Look. Take it. Try it. Thank you, Leonardo. Non c'è di che. There's someone I need to see while I'm here. I cannot approach him publicly. Would you know a way? La volpe. A fox. Capisco. But do you know where a fox might roam? Perhaps near the mercato where the thieves dwell. Sta attento, amico. Okay, we got to find out the fox. Well, what does the fox say? Alright, new zone, new place, new district. I'm gonna get all the viewpoints, then we're gonna do all the glyphs, and I'm gonna get all the feathers, and then with the main memory, so yeah. Alright, there should be a glyph around this place right here. So we'll have to try and find it. I'm not sure where it is. Whoa, 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 don't jump all the way down. How do I get back up again? Right. So around this place. How come I don't remember where it is? Wait, oh there it is. of power. The power they wielded cuts down their enemies. Okay, which one is this? I guess the ones that have swords. Right? That's a cane. That looks like a sword. Wait, that looks like a sword. That there's no sword. I don't see a sword here. That's a spear, isn't it? Well, I need two more. Hmm. God damn it. Wait, I want to see this one. This one has some weapons, so maybe... It what about this? There's a shield... But might be... What? Come on! Has to be this one. Really? Okay, wait. I have. I'm not cheating. Okay. This, 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 and this. There you go. <laughs> I got a piece of Eden twenty-five. The sword. And then here is basically the ones that have staffs. Like this guy has a staff over here. Uh, this one. This one, this one, and this one. Alright. We have... We can get this codex page right here.
people from the internet are gonna come come home tomorrow, so I hope they can fix it. Cause right now I don't have any internet. I can't freaking upload anything. Kinda sucks. God damn. a glyph around here as well just get that feather has to be on this edge around there not quite sure where it is should be around here Didn't expect it to be that at all. There were mostly heroes. See how the lineage is disrupted. The web of history traps the good, and the evil take what is not theirs. Brothers. Oh, okay, this again. What? Oh, I see. Oh, one, two, three, three, two, three, two, what? Shit. Oh, okay. And Satan said unto Cain, Swear unto me by thy throat, and if thou tell it, thou shalt die. Oh yeah, let's see this one. And all these things were done in secret. But of course. Another one. And Cain said, Truly, I am Mahan. The master of this great secret. I don't get it. <laughs> okay. Oh, jeez. It's just kind of confusing. What? Doesn't make sense. I think this is. It doesn't look right. Right, this is right now. Okay. Ah, uh, wait. Like, not like this. Right, like this. So. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. 
right Right. Wherefore Cain was called Master Maiden, and he gloried in his wickedness. Behold, the mark of Cain. Goddamn Templars. Alright, what else? There's this codex page over here. God dang, god dang it, god dang it. You don't push me, I didn't. We are in Come on. Wait, wait. Come on, come on, motherfucker. Alright, I got all them feathers. Let's. Oh, yeah, let's uh, give Leonardo the codex pages that we got so he can, he can translate them. I forgot to do that. Shit. Oh well. We'll do it now. Just run properly, man. God damn it. All who need aid are. You should feel better now, but take care in future. Ezio, so good to see you. How can I help you? Haha! -ha, you found another one! How exciting! If you transpose this word and move this line to the left, it's deciphered. Mm -hmm. Alright. This is it, yeah? We don't have any optional things. Secondary, no? Oh, this. Where the hell did this come from? It's on the other side of the town. I'm the best racer in this distretto. They say you're pretty good. I say prove it. Okay, I can do that. I'm the fastest thief in this city. You think you can beat my best time? Easily. With ease. 
Oh shit. Maybe it's not as easy as I thought. Fox hunt. Locate Lava Valla Volpe. Somewhere near the Mercia. Mm hmm That place. The fox say get back ding, here. Ding, ding, ding. Make me. Gotcha. I really have no interest in hurting you. So give me back my money and we'll call it even. Not so fast. What do you want? Who are you? They call me many things. <laughs> Murderer, Tagliagole, thief. But you may call me La Volpe. At your service, Messer Ezio. <laughs> Do you know my name? <laughs> it is my business to know everything in this city. Isn't that why you're here? Indeed. I need to find someone. To know where he'll be before even he does. Who? Francesco de Pazzi. There's word on the street of a caravan just arrived from Roma. A secret meeting at sunset tonight. You can learn something of Francesco's whereabouts there. Do you know where it is to be held? Maggiardo. Let me know when you are ready, and we'll go. Ah, yes. <laughs> Here is your money. <sighs> okay. Well, we're gonna do this in the next episode, because I have to end it here. So yeah, subscribe if you enjoyed, like, and favor, and see you in the next one. Bye.